Hi, I'm Dan Bowell. I own a little business called Penny Farthing Dan, and I hand build penny farthing bicycles and send them around the world. So today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to safely mount and dismount. One of the things we need to cover is make sure the bicycle fits you correctly. If it's too big, you'll have trouble reaching over the top of the wheel and you'll also have trouble reaching down to the pedals. If it's too small, you can get tangled up in the handlebars, cramped up and you won't be able to manoeuvre the bike and it'll become dangerous as well. Going to cover scooting the bicycle first. You need to scoot along, make sure that you can control it and you feel comfortable. Just make sure your foot clears the wheel. Original style bikes had a nice fitting backbone all the way around. The more manoeuvrable bikes have more gap, the race bikes have less gap, it depends what it's for. Just need to be careful of your foot. And we scoot off. important to practice this step. The more comfortable you are with this, the easier it will be. The next step is to mount up onto the seat. First thing you want to do, is once you master the scooting, is you hop up on the seat, you sit your bum on the seat, don't worry about the pedals. The first thing is to get up onto the saddle first. Learning it as a process and each step at a time allows you to learn how to do it as you go. The next step is to start pedaling. The faster you can scoot along and the more stable and the more speed you can get by scooting, the easier it is and the more time you have to get onto the saddle. for the dismount. With the dismounting you need to allow yourself time to understand where the step is. Once you can automatically find the step, dismounting becomes a lot easier. Allow yourself a little bit of speed but not too much that it's out of control. Just enough speed to give yourself some time to quietly find the step at your own pace. Once you've found the step, don't try to hop off the bike until you've rolled to a stop. couple of safety techniques we'll now teach which will help you as you become more advanced on the bike. The first one is using your foot as a brake on the rear wheel. Using your foot on the rear 
wheel is a really good procedure for when you're going downhill. You want to dismount. The next time we'll learn is an emergency dismount. If you feel yourself turning too tight and you feel unstable or uncomfortable, or you just feel like you can't find the step, you need to dismount quickly for any reason, this is a good way to do it. A couple other safety precautions to keep in mind. Make sure your shoelaces aren't dangling around and hanging out where they'll get caught in the wheel and the hub and the pedals. The other one is don't turn too tight. If you turn really tight, you'll find that the wheel will actually get caught into your leg. If the wheel gets caught into your leg, you can jam and come off the bike. The more relaxed bikes have a little bit more room here to allow a little bit more room to turn. The race bikes being more aggressive and faster, will have a larger wheel and this space is taken up which means you don't have as much room to maneuver. Just recapping your major points. One of the ones that I have to keep reminding people is to look ahead. Make sure you're looking up. It helps with stability. Don't turn too tight when you're first learning. Allow yourself time to learn and get used to the bike before maneuvering in tight spaces. Make sure your shoelaces are tied up or you don't have shoelaces dangling. Make sure your foot doesn't hit the wheel when you're on the step. Take your time to learn how to use your foot on the rear wheel. This is very good for mounting downhills, just a really good general safety procedure. It's good at traffic lights for stopping, being in control of the bike. I think that's enough. <laughs>